Good morning, friends. I'm Miss Afton, the children's librarian at the Alexander Hamilton Library, and today our mini story time book is one of my favorites because it is so funny. So if you want a little bit of humor in your morning, I suggest you grab a comfy spot, get settled, and listen, because our book today is a classic one called The Book With No Pictures. Now, have you ever read a book with no pictures? When you get into higher level books, a lot of times they don't have pictures anymore. But this one is a very special kids book all about text and reading together. So the author of this book is B.J. Novak. And let's see how we read and enjoy the book with no pictures. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious, except here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say. no matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say, Blork! Wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blurf! Wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says? Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That's not true. I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? <laughs> And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No? And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a glug, glug, glug? My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No? There are more pages? I have to read the rest? My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt? And also, the kids I'm reading this book to are the best kids ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? And these kids are the smartest kids too because these kids chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. And make silly sounds like, are you ready for this? I'm not. Oh no. Oh no. Here it comes. Gurga waka, ma grumpa do, ai ai ai, broo broo broo. Oom, eem, blaggedy, blaggedy, jib, glibbity, globbity, globbity, glibbity, beep, boop, ee, ba doongy face. Oh, oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures, please, because this is just too ridiculous to read.
The end. Bonk. I didn't want to say that. And that is the end of the book with no pictures by B.J. Novak. Like I said, this is one of my favorites. It's really fun to read and get into. I would suggest if you haven't read this that you check it out from our library once we're open again and enjoy reading together. It is so much fun. And I hope that you all are safe at home, staying healthy. Have a great day, enjoy a little bit of humor, and we hope to see you back at the library soon. Right. Have a good one, everyone. Bye, friends. <laughs>